Greetings, knights and peasants. Ronald the King here, um, joining you guys again from last episode. Last episode, we released a couple of raunchy titles. We moved into a new office, and we're kicking ass, taking names. No big thing for us, but still entertaining. Oh, gosh. Oh, is this what game development's like? What are people bitching about? I mean... <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> oh shit, I'm just kidding. It's, it's tough shit. Borrow some research information that might be of interest to us. Yes, 34K is nothing to us. Decrypt message. City? City games? Oh, city and simulation. Oh my gosh, we'll call it... Um, castle time or some shit. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Let's create a custom engine. It's going to be all 3D graphics. Game tutorials, better user experience, better dialogues, level editor, open world, mono sound. We'll call this engine something this time. We will actually name this engine. We'll name it um, Kingly... Um, Kingly... Kingly, Kingly, Kingly... Kingly engine. <laughs> Kingly engine. There we go. So clever. Let's go. Engine. Create engine. Three, two, 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 three, two, three. Oh, gaming console. We are gonna buy that. We're gonna buy that shit. Oh, we're gonna use this engine to just take on the Oasis. We are going to just hit that console with some of the first 3D graphics games ever created. It's only year five. Or it's already year five, whatever way you want to look at it. We're doing 3D graphics. Holy shit. We're going to do first person shit. We're not going to create Call of Duty. We're just going to... We're going to do our own shit here. It's our shit. We do what we want. We don't care what other people think. Venus Oasis was just released. So, let's see. Are there any good research uh, topics to re research or... Ooh, um, I think we're good. We're good. We're gonna do. We're going to create a new game for the Bana Oasis. We can afford the Bana Oasis at the moment. We're gonna utilize it. Um, probably gonna get us a little bit more cash because the games cost a little bit more. I'd only think so. Sci-fi. Genre, um, maybe, hmm, what works good on the Vena? Maybe action would work good on the Vena? Maybe, maybe, guys? Would it? We'll try it. Um, let's see, sci-fi action, um, we'll call it robot, um, robots, Ministry defense. I don't know. I don't know. Need to defend our church. It's what gives me the power. It's a rule. I, I don't know. Young audience. They need to learn about war soon, sometime or another because they'll need to fight and migrate nation. We'll see. 3D graphics. Oh, this shit's going to hit hard. I can already tell. This shit's hitting hard. Gameplay is going to get bolstered by these two 10k things, and oh my god, new age in gaming development in Royal Enterprises, we're going to kick some ass, take some names, no one's going to know what hit them, level design's down, dialogues are down, add level editor and better dialogues, we'll just throw everything in, everything's in this engine, we researched it, we might as well utilize it add in some technology points. I like the fact that our technology points are actually more than our other points now. We're gonna add mono sound, open world. This shit's going to hit hard. Graphics, sound. World design's down. Okay. Oh, are we just that ahead of the curve here? 9.6 million and we haven't even hired any employees. Hmm. Let's see. 25 technology. 
21 design. 26 technology. We'll stop it there. Holy shit. We just crushed our old records. Oh, we added a fifth to our old record on technology. Holy shit. Maybe even more than a fifth. Maybe even more than a fourth. I don't even... Sh I don't even know. I don't pretend to know math. Okay. Let's go. Holy shit. Let's see this. Um, shit. Oh. Okay, game review. Um, oh, oh. Oh, oh! We got a nine. We got a nine. We got a nine. We got a nine. Got a nine. I mean, of course we got a nine. It was expected, but oh shit! Eight. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, so that was pretty good. That was like a nine point two five, maybe. Um, let's see. Um, let's go. Generate game report here. Robot Ministry Defense. The new game. Around town. Um. Oh shit. Why isn't it doing that well? The popular genre and everything. Sci fi and action is a great combination. Topic match is great and everything. Is. What, what's wrong? Why are we not making that much money? What? Does anyone understand? I don't understand. Do we need to start branching out to be a medium game thing? I think that we do. Keep the hits coming, please. Oh, yes, we will. Um, techno technical excellence. Clearly the developers know what they're doing. I'm the developer, man. Oh. Develop that... Is that the game report? Wait. Come on, come on, just get it. Get it? No, he's he's researching a engine part. Actually, I forget what it was. We'll see. Simple cutscenes have been completed. Let's go. Train staff management. Let's go. Come on, train. Got one ten point one million dollars. We just hit that milestone, guys. Thirty two k monthly costs. We could afford that for a while. 96,000 units generating $672,000 in sales. That is fan flippin' tastic. Oh. Fill position. Okay. Okay. We'll keep a 300k budget with complex algorithms as the mode of finding them. And then let's train him. We can't waste time. That'd be dumb. Okay. So then let's... What are we going to train him up to do? Hmm. Make me think. Will that increase my research? Maybe? I think it will. The company which is known for games such as Beginnings of You and Royal Investigator has reportedly operated out of his mom's garage until now. Oh, well, shit. Now we're rolling. Now we are rolling. Looking forward to the future games. We're looking forward to you playing our future games, buddy. Review the list of applicants and hire someone for this position. Oh, yes, we will. You always train employees to improve their skills. Yes, but that gets kind of expensive as well. 170, 180, 301. All these guys are kind of shit, but we're going to hire this guy. This guy's our guy. I hired someone famous. Who did we hire? I didn't even know his name. Let's check his name. Let's check his name. Johnny Rome. Okay, Johnny Rome. Johnny Rome. Okay, Johnny Rome. Whoever the hell you are, I probably should know who you are, but I don't. Let's see how you do. Welcome, staff. And our research is going up. Yes, better security. We will not get hacked into. There's no way. We can't afford that right now. We can't afford to get hacked into. Okay, so let's add another employee. I don't give a shit what they're telling me to do. 300k... 
we'll add showreel. We'll see. We want to be able to develop both action, casual, and um, RPG games. So, wow, we got some heavy hitters here. We'll hire this guy. Wait, no. We'll hire this guy. I like his speed and research better. Let's go. Okay. We'll train you. Welcome staff training. All right. Let's go and train this guy up. Train our own guy up. Um, we'll train this guy in his research. We're going to have so much research. We're going to always be on top of our game getting new shit. I don't care if it's right or not. We're gonna... I'm gonna make everyone think. Thinking is important. We're gonna develop medium games straight away. Um... Okay. So, medium-sized contracts have been unlocked. Sounds great. They're announcing the successor to the popular TES title. So... Yeah, they're they're releasing the Super TES. That'll be awesome. That'll be great. We're definitely going to take part in that as well. We're going to hit that real hard. Follow the progress of Row Enterprises for a while. See with your recent expansion that you started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people. Contracts will come in handy. We're going to use publishing. We want to get our people our stuff out into in front of a large audience, so we're going to have to. After these guys are done um, with their training, they should be good enough to get on a game. They should, they'll still be working out some kinks, but that's unavoidable. Let's go, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Okay. So let's go, let's develop a new game with our new engine, the Kingly Engine. And let's start it off real hard here, guys. Start it off with a... Hmm. Start it off with a... Detective game, maybe? We'll go back on the gambling, actually. And then we'll make it an RPG. Um... We'll call it State of Affairs. Because that just sounds cool. Sounds like something's up. You gotta see what's going on. Who did what? Who killed? The Queen. Because the Queen dies. The King can't die, because I'm the King. Okay, creating larger games is a significant ta task, and unlike in small games, one cannot effectively be responsible for every aspect of the, of the game. Actually, we're not going to be able to get this out into a, in front of a really big audience. I completely forgot about that. I really screwed up. Um, yeah, that's how we're going to do that. Johnny Rome's got the tech stuff. I've got the gameplay stuff. Bill J. Allen's got the stories and quests. We'll have to readjust this, though. That looks perfect. I like that. Hmm. Super TES by Nintendo Ninvento has been released. This is Roland Keen from Smash. I got word that Royal Enterprise is working on a new game. Oh yes, I will give you an interview. We'll give it an interview of your life. I'll hype the game. This is our first game. We're getting it. We're getting it good. Gonna really just with this game we're gonna shit on all the competition. No one's gonna be spared. No survivors. Um You'll go there. You go artificial intelligence. I'm probably gonna have to pick up some slack on the creativity shit. So you're going on level design, even though that isn't ideal. Okay. Bill J. Allen, you better not fuck this up. Johnny Rome and I have got this 
we've got this down pat, but you better not screw up. We got a lot of hype here. We can't afford to screw up this up, okay? We can't afford to screw this up. Um, world design, graphics. Okay, that looks like it'll be perfect. Um, except for me, shit. Actually, move this down. Shit. Okay, yeah, this is just gonna happen. Okay, so the 3D State of Affairs game. I don't know how it's gonna work on the gameling, but you know what? It will work because we will it too. And look at those design and technology points. That is great, guys. They're doing pretty good for their first time. Um, design technology. Let's add some more. Okay, finish. Shit. You guys had to add a bug. New record. Okay. 3D graphics V1 leveled up. Okay, so. I will generate a game report. First reviews for the newly released game, State of Affairs, came in. Um, so, pretty good. Eight. That, that's good. That's good. I love it. That, I, I'd do that. I'd do with that. I'd do with that. Nine. Can't wait for the sequel. That's getting good. That's getting good. Mmm. They're focused on story and quests of this game. Well, oh, I like that. Close. We will have to train up our guys, though. Research. Research it up, guys. Let's go. See, what can we research? Nothing yet, but we're going to train him up. We're gonna train him. We're gonna keep on the top of our games. We're gonna stay on the ball. Prototype console called the Play System. Oh, yeah, that should probably be great. Like Ninvento and Vani both working together. Nothing could go wrong. Oh, baffled is only one day after Vani and Nintendo jointly announced the play system that the entertainment conference things have turned sour. Shit. We didn't see that coming. Oh, gosh. It's the end of the play system. Well, don't speak too soon. Don't speak too soon, man. 575.7. We're making some pretty good money off of this. We, should have self we shouldn't have self-published. We could have gotten a lot more off of this. Okay, so our post-release analysis of State of Affairs is complete, and we got the following results. World design seems very important for this type of game. Platform genre ma match, RPG gambling good. Okay, so we did good here, guys. And I think we'll train... Or wait. Yeah, we'll train this up real quick. Yeah, we'll train this up, and... After we're trained up, I think it's uh, goodbye for this episode. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, so I think that's it, guys. You liked it? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Maybe um, stick with me for my other videos. See me get above fifty million dollars. See me just take the world by storm, make my own consoles, all that fun shit. Um, Enjoyed myself. See you guys. Bye.